guys, good day and welcome to another lesson here in our Fab M1. So for today, we are going to record uh, business transactions using P accounts. So magi start na tayo mag record no. And afterward, we will try to create a trial balance using the transactions recorded in our T accounts. So stay tuned and hopefully you're ready while watching. This video kasi napaka-importante nito, dito na tayo mag-start na magre-record ng mga transaction. For today, we are going to solve or record the transaction from this uh, simple problem. Ito yung mga transaction niya, nakalist for good for one month uh, from the start of the operation. Ire-record natin lahat to using uh, T-accounts. So let's start. So, ito, nag-prepare na ako ng T-accounts na kakailanganin natin. Ito yung mga itsura ng mga T-accounts na gagamitin natin. So, let's start with the first transaction. Sabi dito, January 1, Andalim started a ilaw at iba pa store by contributing cash of 30,000 pesos and equipment worth 48,000 pesos. By analyzing this transaction, guys, involved si cash. Kasi nag-contribute siya ng cash, nag-contribute siya ng equipment. So, ibig sabihin, uh, involved din sa equipment. And syempre, sino ba yung nag-contribute? Syempre, si Andy. So, ibig sabihin, we will need to create a T-account for cash kasi involved yan. Another thing, we have equipment. Yan, involved din yan. And syempre, dapat makredit yan kay Andy Lim kasi siya yung uh, nag-contribute. So, mga kailangan din tayo ng T-account for Andy Lim Capital. So, yun yung tatlong kailangan nating accounts for this transaction. Now, going back to our uh, transaction, sabi niya, uh, Andy Lim contributed cash, 30,000 pesos. So, by the time that Andy Lim contributed uh, 30,000 pesos, ibig sabihin, nadagdagan yung pera ng company or ng business natin. Cash, we all know that cash is an example of asset and yung normal balance ng asset, kapag nag increase nire-record natin yan sa debit side. That's why we need to record uh, 30,000 pesos sa cash side or sa debit side. Kasi nag increase yung cash natin upon contributing 30,000 of andilim. And another thing, other than cash, nag-contribute din siya ng equipment. And syempre, equipment is another example of asset. So, same thing with cash, yung increasing balance niya is yung debit or yung normal balance niya is debit. That's why we record again a 48,000 pesos sa debit side. And to credit uh, the contribution of Andy Lim, so syempre, nadagdagan din yung capital niya. To record under the capital of Andy Lim and knowing that capital having a normal balance of credit, so kailangan natin i-record yung total amount ng kanyang contribution. And that is 30,000 plus 48 is equals to 78,000 credited to Andilim Capital. So take note, tignan nyo yung naging transaction natin. We debited 30,000 for cash, debited equipment 48,000, and then credited 78,000 for Andilim Capital. Balance siya, di ba? So the total amount debited is total to the amount Credited. So, make sure every transaction, guys, equal ang re-record nyo sa debit at credit. Okay? Take note of that. So, let's proceed to our next transaction. Next transaction, sabi niya, January 5, bought furnitures and fixtures worth 60000 on account. So, by analyzing this transaction, bumili daw tayo ng furnitures. So, siyempre, upon acquiring furnitures, nagkaroon tayo ng furnitures, di ba? So, kakailangan na natin ngayon yung T-account for that furnitures. And sabi niya, uh, worth 6000 on account. So guys, when we are selling or when we are buying uh, an item or acquiring any item, we have two options. The first option is paying it cash or uh, make it credit. So, in accounting, yung term natin when it comes to credit, yun yung on account. Ibig sabihin, inutang natin hindi natin siya binayaran as cash. So, in this case, inutang natin, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon tayo ng payable. And upon analyzing the transaction, ang inutang natin is item. And kapag item ang, ang inutang natin, 
ang gagamitin natin is accounts payable. So, we need the T-account for an accounts payable. So, yan. Gumawa rin tayo ng T-account for accounts payable. Okay? So, let's go back to our transaction. Sabi dito, we bought furniture. So, ibig sabihin, nung bumili tayo, nagkaroon tayo ng furnitures and pictures. Nadagdagan. And knowing furnitures and fixture is asset again. So, the increasing side or the normal side of this furniture and fixtures is debit. We need to debit the amount which is 6,000 pesos. And nung binili natin to guys, dahil hindi natin siya binayaran, nagkaroon tayo ng utang. Nag-increase ang ating liability knowing that liability has the normal balance of credit. Ire-record natin yung accounts payable natin, 6,000 credit side. Okay? So, take note. Tignan nyo ulit. Ha? Yung debited natin is 6,000 and then yung credited natin is 6,000. Bangga na naman. So, dapat every transaction, bangga ang mga yan. Okay, for our next transaction, sabi niya, January 10, bought a photocopier machine for 20,000 pesos. Terms 50% down. Balance on account. Pumili tayo ng photocopier machine. So, machine is another term for equipment. Pwede nating uh, record dyan as an equipment. Bali, meron na tayong T-account for that. So, no need to create another one. Involved din si cash dahil nagkaroon tayo ng down 50%. Meron na din tayong cash for uh, T-account for cash. And another account involved in this uh, transaction is uh, accounts payable kasi on account yung ano natin, yung balance daw natin. To analyze this one, syempre, yung total item ng machine, yun yung ire-record natin sa machine na binili natin. And knowing that equipment or machine is uh, an example of asset and the normal balance of asset is, again, debit. So, we record it as debit 20,000 pesos. So, after debiting uh, yung item ni record natin, magkakatalo na lang tayo ngayon kung paano natin siya binayaran. So, in this case, sabi niya, uh, we did the uh, paid 50% of the 20,000 kasi nag-down tayo. To get the 50% of 20,000, 20,000 multiply by 50%, we get 10,000 pesos. So, upon paying that 10,000 pesos, ibig sabihin, nabawasan yung cash natin. So, instead of recording cash in the normal balance, uh, the other side or the opposite side natin ngayon, ire-record kasi nabawasan. So, kailangan nating mag-record ng 10,000 in the credit side, decreasing side na cash. So, yung natira ngayon, yung balance daw on account or utang mo na, credit mo na. And knowing that machine is an item, item yung ating inutang na naman, so we credit it to the accounts payable worth 10,000 pesos. So again, take note, equipment, debit 20,000, credit cash, and credit accounts payable 10,000 each. So balansin na naman tayo sa debit and total credit natin, 20,000 each. For our next transaction, January 17, an emergency prompt and the limb to withdraw 1,500 for personal use. This time, nagkaroon daw ng problema si Andy Lim so kailangan niyang kumuha ng 1,500 sa business and gagamitin niya for personal. In that case, mababawasan yung pera ng business. Diba? And at the same time, magkakaroon ng withdrawal si uh, Andy Lim so kailangan natin i-charge yan sa Andy Lim drawing na tinatawag. So wala pa tayong drawing so, kailangan natin gumawa ng T-account for Andilim Drawing. Okay? So, dahil nagkaroon siya ng drawing and yung normal balance of drawing is debit, so we debit 1,500. And upon getting that 1,500 for that business, nabawasan yung pera natin, so i-record natin yon sa credit side ng cash, which is 1,500 pesos off. So, Andy Lim, drawing 1,500 debit and credit cash 1,500 pesos. Next account. January 23, bought supplies costing 3,000 and paid cash. So, bumili daw tayo ng supplies. Wala pa tayong T-account for supplies. So, we need to create a T-account for 
office supplies para ma-record natin yan. And sabi niya, nagbayad daw tayo ng cash. Meron na tayong cash. So, kailangan na lang nating mag-record. So, first thing, ano yung in natin? So, kung ano man yung in natin, for sure, nadagdagan yan. So, we debited office supplies kasi asset yan. And that, nagbayad tayo ng cash. Ibig sabihin na bukasan na naman yung cash natin. So, we need to, again, credit cash for 3,000 pesos. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Hopefully, bumibilis na kayo and bago ko pa sinasagutan, eh, nalalaman nyo na yung tamang entry for our transaction. Okay, so next transaction tayo, January 28, the account last January 5 is due and the limp paid cash to settle the balance. Kailangan na daw nating bayaran yung inutang natin last January 5 dahil naka-due na. Ito yung inutang pala natin, no? So last January 5, we bought furnitures and fixture worth 6,000 pesos. Yan yung naka-record sa utang natin and accounts payable, 6,000. Siyempre, upon paying that balance, automatic yung cash natin, mababawasan na naman. So, we need to record or credit 6,000 pesos per cash. And para mabawasan din yung accounts payable natin, magre-record din tayo sa debit side ng 6,000 pesos kasi nabawasan. Okay? So, the increasing side of accounts payable is credit. It's time na bawasan kasi nagbayad tayo ng utang. That's why we debit. So, kung i-analyze natin yung accounts payable natin ngayon, tignan nyo yung 6,000, meron na tayong debit and credit. Ibig sabihin, na-offset na siya. Next transaction natin, our last transaction, January 30. The account last January 10 is due. Issued a promissory note for this. This time, naka-due na yung inutang natin last January 10. Ito yung inutang natin. Kaya lang, wala pa raw tayong pambayad. So, ang ginawa natin, we created a promissory note. So, knowing kapag yung promissory note is involved na, kailangan meron na tayong tinatawag na notes payable. Dahil gumawa tayo ng promissory note and binigay natin yan kay creditor, yung accounts payable natin ngayon, mababawasan siya, kaya lang malilipat siya into notes payable kasi involved na si promissory note. And utang pa rin natin siya, kaya notes payable, kaya hindi siya nabawasan sa cash natin kasi hindi natin nabayaran. There is no money involved. Instead, gumawa lang tayo ng letter. So that will be the last transaction for this simple problem na ginagawa natin. After Uh, recording all the T accounts, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay eh, ibabalance natin yung lahat ng accounts. For example, yung cash. So, total debit, 30,000. And then, i-add natin yung total credit natin. That is 10,000 plus 1,500 plus 3,000 plus 6,000. That is 21,500. And then, we will get the difference uh, between the two, debit and credit. So, yung magiging difference natin yan, whichever is higher, yun yung magiging balance ng account na yon. In the case of cash, ang magiging balance niyan, cash debit 9,500. Okay? Next natin, equipment. So, dahil wala naman tayong credit, yung total ng debit, automatic yun na yung balance ng equipment. Sa capital naman natin, dahil wala ng ibang account, So, we just bring down 78,000. Same thing with the furnitures and fixtures. And sa accounts payable natin, kung titignan natin, we have 16,000 for debit, 16,000 for credit. Ibig sabihin, accounts payable has a zero balance. So, when it comes to preparing trial balance, no need to record accounts payable kasi zero balance naman siya. Andilim drawing, rewrite. Uh, Office supplies, so bring down then. Notes payable, bring down 10,000 pesos. So that will be it for our T accounts. This time, let's try to create a simple trial balance out of these T accounts na na-record natin. So syempre, dapat meron siyang uh, title. Andalim, Ilaw, at iba pa store. Trial balance, January 31, 2021. After the title, Ayan yung ating column. We have the accounts, the first column, and then the second column for debit side, and then 
credit side naman for our last column. And then, we now rewrite all the accounts na ginamit natin na merong balance pa. And yung pag-record sa trial balance, take note, dapat nakaayos yan. According to, unay natin lahat ng current asset. After what current asset, non-current asset tayo. Same thing with liability. Current and then non-current liability. After liability, we proceed to capital. After capital, drawing. And then if ever meron tayong expenses, expenses and then income. Pero for this problem, we only have uh, asset liabilities, capital and drawing. So yun lang yung gagawitin natin. Ito yung mga T-accounts na ginamit natin kanina. Nilagay ko lang para meron tayong reference. Next natin na gagawin yan, after recording all the accounts, title, yun naman mga amount nila. Ayan sila. Diba yung cash natin, 9,500. Supplies, 3,000. Furnitures and fixtures, 6,000. Equipment, 68,000. Or all debit yan, mga asset yung mga yan. And then, notes payable natin, liability, 10,000. Undilim, capital, 78,000. And then debit, undilim drawing, 1,500. And then the total for debit is equals to 88,000. And the total for credit is 88,000 pesos. Okay, so nagawa na rin tayo ng trial balance. Take note, hindi matatawag na trial balance yan kapag hindi balance. Eh. So make sure na balance yan kahit na 5 or piso, walang disbalance. Eh. Okay? So hopefully meron na naman tayong natutunan for today's lesson. If ever meron kayong question, you can write a comment down sa video na to. Or you can directly chat me para mapag-usapan natin. And be ready for our performance task about this problem. Thank you and see you for our next video.